Page number 18.29. ABC are in partnership compiling their accounts to 30th September each year and sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. The summarized partnership balance sheet as at 30th September 2006 is shown below. Sundry net assets 16 lakh, capitals of ABC 6 lakh, 6 lakh and 4 lakh. In the year ended 30th September 2007, the following events took place. On 31st March 2007, A retired. See, you are given the partnership balance sheet on 30th September 2006. When did the partner retire? He has retired on 31st March 2007. October, November, December, January, February and March. Six months have expired since the balance sheet date. In settling the amount due to him, Goodwill was valued at 6 lakh and a plot of land owned by the partnership was revalued upwards by 1,20,000. The balance due to A remained in the partnership as a loan carrying no interest. That means on retirement, we have sat down with Mr. A, we have calculated what is due to him, it has been transferred to a loan and it is carrying interest. That means settlement has taken place on 31st March 2007. Section 37 of the Partnership Act will not apply. B and C continued the partnership business from 1st April 2007, sharing profits in the ratio of 2 is to 1. B and C continued the partnership business from 1st April 2007, sharing profits in the ratio of 2 is to 1. That means as soon as Mr. A went off, only two partners remained, B and C. They have continued the business and in their profit sharing ratio of 2 is to 1. If you observe, when A, B, C were there, B and C were sharing in the ratio of 2 is to 1. After A has gone away, B and C are still sharing profits in the ratio of 2 is to 1. On 1st July 2007, that is after 3 months, Mr. A has left. April, May, June have expired. After 3 months, a new partner is joining now. On 1st July 2007, D joined the partnership and from this date, the profit sharing ratio became 2 is to 1 is to 1. So, the ratio between B, C and D is now 2 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. D brought in rupees 3 lakh as capital plus a further 1 lakh 50 thousand for one quarter share of goodwill valued at this date at 6 lakh. If you observe, valuation of goodwill at the time of retirement of A and valuation of goodwill at the time of admission of D are both one and the same. The total profit for the year ended 30th September 2007 was 6 lakh. So you are given balance sheet on 30th September 2006. One year has elapsed since the last balance sheet date. Exactly 6 lakh rupees was prof profits were earned during the year. The following basis of allocating the profit was agreed. So how to share that 6 lakh profit among the old partners, retiring partner, containing partners, new partners. So some logic is given to you. A bad debt of 30,000 charged in arriving at the profit of 6 lakh should be related to 6 months ended 31st March 2007. So during the year there were some bad debts. The partners have agreed that this bad debt should be charged only to the prior period prior to retirement of the partner. Apart from the above adjustments, the profit should be divided between, divided 6 months ended 31st March 2007 60%, 3 months ended 30th June 2007 20%, 3 months ended 30th September 2007 20%. The partners drawing for the year, all figures in rupees, ABC, for the first 6 months is 50, 40 and 30. 3 months ended 30th June 2007 is 30,000 and 30,000. 3 months ended 30th September 2007 is 40,000, 30,000 and 25,000. You are required to prepare profit and loss appropriation account for the year ended 30th September 2007. Also prepare partner's capital accounts. Let us start solving the problem. Let us prepare a timeline first. You people are masters in preparing timeline. The year started on 1st October 2006. It is going to end on 30th September 2007. Six months. 31st March 2007. Date of retirement of A. For these three, for these six months, there are three partners A, B, and C. Next three months, up to 1st July 2007. Three months period. 
This period is three months. Only B and C were partners. From 1st July to 30th September 2007, again three months, B, C and D were partners. Here profit sharing ratio was 3 is to 2 is to 1. Here ratio was 2 is to 1. Here ratio was 2 is to 1 is to 1. Let us start preparing necessary accounts. Revaluation account. A small account is sufficient because there is only one revaluation. Then PNL appropriation account for first six months. PNL appropriation account for next three months. PNL appropriation account last three months. Not last, last. Last three months. PNL appropriation account is prepared to share the profits of the year. Then partners capital account. <coughs> partners capital account. <coughs> First six months. <coughs> partners capital account. Next three months. If I find anyone talking, last three months. Open all these accounts. Revaluation account. Payment appropriation account. Per six months. Payment appropriation account. Next three months. In appropriation account last three months, partners capital account for six months, next three months and last three months. <coughs> Always start with opening balances. Partners capital account, we have now four partners to take care of. A, B, C and D. A, B, C and D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C and D. Brought down 6 lakh. 6 lakh. 4 lakh. D is not there. Nil. But to maintain consistency of the format, I have introduced him. He is not there. The beginning of the year. On 31st March 2007, A retired. In settling the amounts due to him, goodwill was valued at 6 lakh. And a plot of land owned by partnership was revalued upwards by 1,20,000. So we have to revalue one of the land and it was revalued upwards by 20, 1 lakh 20 thousand and pass the entry. <coughs> In the balance sheet you will use sundry net assets only. Buy sundry net assets 1 lakh 20 thousand because separately land account balance is not given to you. So I will pass the entry sundry net assets account let R2 revaluation account 1 lakh 20 thousand. valued at 6 lakh, we will pass an entry, goodwill account, retar to partners capital account, buy goodwill, raise it in old ratio, 3 is 2, 2 is to 1, 3 lakh, 2 lakh and 1 lakh.
let us write it off here itself because there is a time gap between the date of retirement of Mr. A and admission of Mr. D and the new profit sharing ratios between B and C are given. Hence, let us write off goodwill now itself to goodwill. A, nil, only B and C, 2 is to 1 ratio, 4000 and 2000, D, nil. We will give fresh treatment to goodwill when D is admitted. We have raised goodwill among A, B, C in their old profit sharing ratio, 3 is to 2 is to 1. And we have written off goodwill among the remaining partners, B and C, in new profit sharing ratio, that is 2 is to 1. I will again raise goodwill when D is admitted and then write it off. Drawings are given to you for six months. Two drawings. What are the drawings? A. 50,000 B. 40,000 and C. 30,000 Next three months also drawings are given. Two drawings. 30,000 and 30,000 B and C. Last three months drawings are also given. Two drawings. 40,000, 30,000, 25,000. A will also claim share in profits. For that, prepare a working note. I'll prepare a chart here. Profit after bad debts. 6 lakh. Add bad debts. 30,000. Total. 6 lakh 30,000. Total 6,30,000. Share it among 6 months, 3 months, 3 months. Not on the ratio of time. A basis is given. How profits have been earned? 60%, 20% and 20%. If I don't add bad debts here, this bad debt loss will get shared among all the six, all the 12 months in the ratio of 60, 20 and 20 because this is profit after bad debts and problem did not say that these losses were accruing in this percentage. This loss belongs particularly to the 6 months period. If I don't add it here, this 30,000 will get shared among all the 12 months in the ratio of 6 is to 2 is to 2. So 3 lakh 78,000, 126, 126. These are share in profits before bad debts. So write buy profits. <coughs> buy profits. 3 lakh 78,000 for 6 months. Buy profits. 1 lakh 26,000. And buy profits. 1 lakh 26,000. Bad debt will now be debited to the 6 months only. 2 bad debts. 30,000. Now if you check 378 minus 30, 348. 348 plus 126 plus 126. 252 plus 348 is exactly 6 lakhs. So we have shared only 6 lakhs but in a different ratio. We have added 30,000 to the profits. And then the total amount was shared in the ratio of 6 is to 2 is to 2. This 30,000 specifically given in the problem, it is for period prior to 31st March. Hence I have written the last year. 
Now we have to settle the capital account of A. Let us slowly close the account one by one. Revaluation profits one lakh twenty thousand. Share it among A, B, C, D. Not A, B, C, D. Only A, B, C. Three, two, one. Share in the six months profits. Two A, two B, two C. Revaluation profits to all partners. Now the profit for past six months are shared among three partners. One lakh seventy-four thousand. One lakh sixteen thousand. Fifty-eight thousand. Three months profit. Only B and C will enjoy a share. Two B capital, two C capital. <coughs> two is to one ratio. Next three months will write here by P and R appropriation. Eighty four thousand, forty two thousand nil. Last three months profits. Two B, two C, two D. Sixty-three thousand. I have kept question marks here. Opening balances. By P and appropriation. Sixty-three thousand. Sixty-three thousand, thirty-one thousand five hundred, and thirty-one thousand five hundred. Now we can close the accounts one by one. Whatever balance was left in A capital account. Transfer it to his loan account. To loan from A account. Six thirty, six ninety, seven sixty four, eight sixty four. Okay, it's three lakh nine, nine sixty, ten thirty four, eleven thirty four. So it is ten lakh. Eighty-four thousand. I have to transfer it to loan from A account. I'm writing entry A capital account. It has to loan from A account. B capital account. What's the balance? Six plus two eight. Eight plus forty eight forty. Nine fifty six. Nine fifty six minus four lakh forty thousand five lakh. Five lakh sixteen thousand is the closing balance. To write like this. Carry it down, others. Five lakh sixteen thousand is the closing balance. To bring it to B capital account, five lakh sixteen thousand brought down. C four plus one five five seventy eight minus two thirty. 
थ्री लैख फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड सी कैपिटल अकाउंट थ्री लैख फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड डी कैपिटल अकाउंट बैलेंस राइट नाउ इज नील
sacrificing partners. 6 lakhs into 2 by 12 have sacrificed. 6 lakhs into 1 by 12 have sacrificed. 1 lakh and 50,000. If posting by bank, by cash, 1 lakh in A capital account, B capital account 50, sorry. B capital account 1 lakh, C capital account 50,000, nothing in D capital account. close the capital Problem number 22, try to solve the problem on your own. Now, read problem number 22, try to solve the problem on your own now. <coughs> 